All right, y'all, you're at Twin City Firewood, and you're welcome here anytime. I've been running a tank of gas to my 592 XP, cut up a little bit, put in that pile. And I think I'm gonna do some splitting now because that's where the most shade is. You know how it goes. Um, and I'm hoping I can get my wife down here to split with me. She's never uh, run a super splitter before. And the kids are in school, so. Maybe I can get her down here. That might be worth watching. Y'all stick around, let's see what happens. Thank you. So I got my pretty wife, Krista, down here helping me today. Uh, we've been married 18 years. I scooped her up when we were pretty young. And uh, it's one of them for better or for worse deals. Uh, I couldn't have done no better and she couldn't have done no worse. <laughs> I've had several people tell me that and, and I don't disagree. I, I understand that. She is very quiet and reserved, and uh, so she won't be getting in front of the camera much at all. If, if she does, I'd be surprised. Matter of fact, I had to kind of trick her to get her down here. She didn't like me getting the camera out. I told her it was going to be on time lapse, but I didn't tell her that I swapped it to regular recording after a little while. So she gives me a dirty look at the end. You won't be able to see it, but uh, you can kind of tell by my facial expression that she she looked hard at me when i started talking to the camera we have four kids together 13 year old daughter eight year old son and our twins are, are five years old so we're busy and you looking at a super woman right there i'm not kidding she's a super mom and uh, she puts herself last there's no doubt about it i know it sounds corny and uh, you can think what you want about me but she knows i'm crazy about her and uh, she's she's my treasure no kidding if she ever watches this back or my kids watching this back i just thought that was worth saying i aggravate her all the time anybody that knows us knows that i don't mind aggravating her and giving her a hard time but uh i'm very blessed and uh, i definitely married several levels up above what i could have done and should have done but i'm, I'm very thankful for her and that's I'll, I'll quit now i know i'm getting romantical but uh that's just how I feel about her. So she is an identical twin. So we have a set of twins, and my wife's an identical twin. And her twin lives right across the road from us, and she is married to a lineman, power lineman, just like I am, and we're buddies. So kind of odd, unusual thing there. But we rarely get to do much without our four kids, or at least some of them around. And we have nieces and nephews around pretty regular, too. I got family that lives all around me. And uh, so I took advantage of this while it was just me and her, and I got a little workout of her, and I think she may have enjoyed it a little more than she was thinking. And I apologize for the fuzzy uh, picture, for the clarity. The camera got hot. It was pretty hot this day. You'll notice I got the fan on. But uh, it'll, I'll take the lens off here shortly, and it'll clear up some. Thank you all for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me if you would. I appreciate that and like and comment, but uh, thank y'all for spending time watching us. It still surprises me and, and it just is very humbling that people will watch this kind of stuff. I do the same thing with other people's channels and uh, I just kind of wanted to show what we do. I ho hope y'all enjoy it and I hope you continue to watch and comment and like and uh, thank you for your time. See ya. Thought I'd show y'all something right quick. I got a customer wanting to pick up a few totes with wood in it and take it himself. He's about an hour away and he's gonna return the totes to me. And he's gonna throw it out. So throw it out of these totes when he gets to his place. So I was gonna use some of these open front totes I have. I'm gonna show you what I've done here. I've mentioned it before, but I haven't done it in use with a conveyor yet. Anyways, I've just taken some of my cutouts that I've I've saved and then these bars that come off the top of the totes this one was a little bit bent up already but I just tweak I bend the bottom legs out a little bit wedge them down in there it's not much trouble at all and then take these top bars that come out of it and, and it's I mean it's in there uh, I have I've done this 20 30 times and I haven't had any come out pop off this one uh, looks a little better uh, tweak these sidebars, bend them a little bit and just kind of sandwich it in there. I didn't even have to bend this top bar here. 
I just hooked it on to the side and wedged it in there. Anyways, that way when he gets ready to chunk it out, he can get some of it and then just remove this and it'll be easier on him when he goes to do it. I just thought if any of y'all out here using these totes and you've already cut out the fronts, you may have a better way to do it. This is just how I've been doing it. It works pretty well. Thank you. See ya. Turned out all right. I'll show y'all it works pretty good. done pretty good for a first time splitting <laughs> i told her i put her on time lapse and nobody would hear which i did the first part but the last part uh i just going to show y'all this sorry the camera lens camera got hot and it made it cloudy but uh i took it off anyway made some pretty red oak here this come from a tree that fell at my sister's place so we made use of it see y'all